soon. Today is one of the few days the soldiers here in basic training at Fort Jackson can bend the rules just a little. The goal make these trainees feel as at home as possible, despite having to be away from family for the holidays. I have a wife and two daughters, and I must say that this has been being away the last few weeks has been the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Michael Colebrook is one of 19,000 soldiers not spending the Thanksgiving holiday with family. Instead, he's spending it with his brothers and sisters in fatigue. And on Wednesday, the trainees were in for a treat. We had a team come in last night, and they got started cooking the meat. That's more than 15,000 pounds of meat, ranging from turkey to Cornish hen. The soldiers were also encouraged to eat some cake, a treat the battalion usually doesn't get on a regular basis. And they get a chance to sit down for about 45 minutes, which normally their time is about 30 minutes. So get a time to sit down and enjoy themselves, talk back and forth, because normally on a regular day they can't say anything at all when they come into defect. And even though this meal is a little more informal, the soldiers are still training even while they eat from how they carry their tray to the way they hold their cups. Holding the trays, really trying to prevent us from getting our germs all over the food, holding our cups up like this, it's actually practicing for how we're supposed to hold grenades. But the most important part of this meal isn't the food or dessert or the subliminal training. It's the feeling of family. What we do as leaders and to show those that we lead that we care. And you will often hear the saying, people don't uh, care what they care what you know until they know that you care. This shows caring. And that's a huge part of leadership. And for us to do what we have to do, we have to trust each other. Caring is a part of that. In Columbia, Georgia Ree Godfrey, 7 News. In Columbia, Georgia Ree Godfrey, count on two. In Columbia, George Ree Godfrey, WSAV News 3. In Columbia, George Ree Godfrey, WJBF News Channel 6. In Columbia, George Ree Godfrey, News 13. In Columbia, for Fox News at 10, I'm George Ree Godfrey. In Columbia, George Ree Godfrey, News 19, WLTX.